And thank you so much for joining us here on Idaho Today. You know it's another week, which means it's another issue of Boise Weekly. So we're joined by our good friend Gene Huff of the Boise Weekly to tell us everything that's happened around town and what you can find in this latest edition. Gene, it's so good to see you. Hey, it's good to see you too. All right, so hey, a lot of buzz around the warehouse food hall opening. This sounds fantastic. Fill us in. Well, it's really, really cool. And um, we've already been over there I've, several times, <laughs> <laughs> trying things out. We're going to actually do a lunch bunch kind of a taste testing thing next week. But this week, it's all about it is open and it is really cool. There are 11 different um, eating and drinking spots in there. You've got to go and try them all out. Oh, fantastic. All right. And I love how you're doing the first person experience, right? You, you know, what a hard job, Gene. I'm so sorry that you actually have to go sample food and some beverage to really see what it's like. But I look forward to hearing your reviews, so. though. Yes, it's a tough <laughs> job, but somebody has to do it. Somebody right? has to do it. I'm so glad Gene's stepping up. All right. And also, happy 30th anniversary to the Flying M. My goodness, I grew up going there. I know. Can you believe it? That they've been around for 30 years. It's a Boise icon, and um, it's a great hang for coffee. Uh, you know, they have a great bakery goods, and I guess they're going to even be expanding possibly to having a lunch. Oh, no kidding. And, yeah. And, um, and you know, they've got a great gift shop and they've got, you know, you can get your coffee ground there and take it home, but I like it better there. <laughs> yeah. You know, I like it there too. And I like to be able to sit and enjoy the art because I love the art gallery and they also celebrate local art, which is always fantastic as well. I, I've always appreciated that. And the atmosphere is just great, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, great. Good. Yep. Okay. So I'm really interested to hear about this tattoo fest at Expo Idaho. What's going on with that? Wow. It's going to be a three day event and um, you can go there and watch tattoo artists or you can go there and sign up you know and get a reservation to get your own tattoo done they're going to be um i don't know exactly how many art tattoo artists but they're coming from all over oh, wow. and you know they have all different styles of tattoos so it's it's really kind of cool to see how this art has evolved into being a part of our culture now mm -hmm. you know it used to be um Maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah, uh, slightly taboo. I think we can say that. You know, if you had a tattoo, you were, um, uh, you know, it's easily to be profiled, right? I into right. Like, 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 like some kind of social image. And it's like, no, you know, everyone has tattoos now. It's socially acceptable and it's a part of expression. It's not just for sailors anymore. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. It's not just for sailors and bikers. Moms have tattoos. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and we, we saw a beautiful image too of, a, of artistry of a wolf and then a woman's face. This is just incredible. And I think it really speaks to what you're saying about the art expanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really pretty. Yeah. Tell me about Hemp Fest at Julia Davis Park. So Hemp Fest came about um, because, uh, you know, People are trying to get our culture wrapped around the idea of, you know, that hemp and uh, its association isn't really all that bad. <laughs> okay, so they're trying to create a positive image for hemp. Yes, yes. There we go. Okay. And, so, and, so, and it's a one day event. So the, the Tattoo Fest is three days and the Hemp Fest is, is one day and that's at Julia Davis Park. Got it. Okay, all right, so they kind of piggyback off of each other over a span of days. Yeah, I mean, the Hemp Fest is just um, at Julie Davis Park, the Expo, I mean, the, the, the Tattoo Fest is at Expo. Expo, got it. Okay, great. But these are just examples of some of the amazing things that we can learn about in the Boise Weekly. And, you, and you give great <laughs> detail as well. And I love the calendar in the Boise Weekly too, that just tells, you know, each day for the month, something to go check out, which is fantastic. Um, so, so much many, so much, so going many, on. Jean. So, where can people go to get a copy of the Boise Weekly? They can get the uh, Boise Weekly at your Albertsons, at Fred Meyer, at any of the Jacksons, um, at your um, favorite coffee shop, which might be the Flying M, and at the Flicks, and um, you know, just just all over, even at some of the libraries. Oh, great. Awesome. Jean, thank you so much. It is always a pleasure touching base with you. Thank you. I enjoy it. All right. You take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.